This is Random Randy Savage of Cope 45 Podcast, and it's time to hitch me up. What's up? Okay. Today we're going to take a look at Lightyear. Watch this. Okay, if you watched my video so far in the last month, you'll kind of notice a trend about meta shit. Like, a thing that we know is a comic book that becomes a reality thing inside of another thing inside of another thing, right? Uh, or multiverse, where like the world that you're living in is actually someone else's story or someone else's like play or dream or something like that. Um. I say that to start this with Lightyear. Lightyear, as it was described to me, is the gritty reboot to an animated show that featured an action figure in a movie that we all saw as children. Everyone confused yet? Good. Okay. But that's what it is. It literally is. Lightyear is the gritty reboot. It's like if Batman the Animated Series came out with a live action version, which Batman v Superman kind of fits that bill. But it was based off the, but it, there was a, like, it would be better if they had made Mask of Phantasm instead of Batman v Superman. We've all been asking for that one in live action for forever. And we're like, no, 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 we'll get to that when we get to that. And it's like, no, I think you should get to it because you, you keep fucking around and creating dark and reedy boo Batman. I digress. Lightyear is based off the Toy Story character, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear, but in that movie, Buzz Lightyear was an action figure that had his own TV show. That TV show is getting a gritty reboot movie, and the movie that we're watching is that movie. Does anyone else's heads hurt? Mine kinda hurts now. Um, I guess? <laughs> like, why? Why this? I get that they already made an animated show of Buzz Lightyear. Okay, so we can't do that route again. And I get that we're like, that there is a bunch of lore, especially with Zork and the, and the uh, Space Corps. And it's just like, and like Voltron kind of did most of that work, footwork already. So we're kind of can't go in that direction either. It just looked like a rip off of Voltron. Okay, so we can't do that. So you have to go so deep into like, your own meta universe to just we're gonna make a movie about a thing about a thing and hope no one cares right because it's pixar and i think that's what they're banking on it's like if it's if pixar came out with let's just bullshit it random um the tragic like if pixar made a movie about the plane that knocked over the, the twin towers hell no to the no, 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 yeah. I'm gonna give a fuck a meter. I'm gonna go ahead and give this. No fucks, zero fucks. I'm not gonna watch this movie. It was a fuck. But now that I talk myself into it, I'm not watching this movie. I'm like, I don't even think my kid wants to go see it. And he loved Toy Story. And I'm like, but none of the Toy Story bits are here. It's just this, it's just the lore behind the lore, the ideas behind the idea. And I'm like, oh, that's a hard sell, bro. And you're, I mean, it's gonna make a hundred million dollars. I bet you. But like after a week, no one's gonna give a shit because it's just Pixar. Pixar makes money that way. <laughs> 